David, there was a big scare actually this morning, the time of recording. Uh, I woke up on Thursday morning and all over crypto Twitter, a whole bunch of people were saying, stop using your dApps. Just stop. Just don't use any more dApps <laughs> because there's like a, a phishing attack. And like when you read into the details of this, it seemed like there was some mysterious attack where if you were using your ledger hardware wallet paired with some sort of um, either crypto wallet, like a, you know, like a MetaMask or just on a website using Ledger Connect, there was a way for an attacker to drain your funds. Okay. So this was circulating mm. around crypto Twitter. Can you tell us some details on what was happening and uh, like whether it's resolved or not? So I think it is now resolved. We now know the details, but the TLDR, a, this is some coding developer language. I'm just going to do my best here. A library that is used by many dApps maintained by Ledger was compromised and then a wallet drainer was replaced. So think about a little snippet of code. That snippet of code that's maintained by Ledger was compromised and a wallet drainer snippet of code was replaced. And so sometimes when you use your Ledger and it connects to MetaMask and then it connects to a front end, somewhere in the middle of that process is this Ledger library that this exploiter got their hands on and was able to insert a drainer. I don't think it was true for all front ends. So not all front ends were having this ledger connect to library as part of their stack, but some of them were. And I bet you, Ryan and me and bankless listeners are like, I don't know which uses it and which doesn't. And so everyone is like, just stop using it. Stop pause. Yeah. And what it would do is pause all trading. It would do a man in the middle attack where it would just insert this rogue transaction into your device. And, right. you know, you wouldn't really know. So you'd look, look at the transaction mm -hmm. on the screen, you'd click through and you'd, you'd click accept and you ended up uh, sending your right. funds to this uh, this third party, this, this fisher, mm -hmm. this, this hacker. Mm -hmm. So uh, your Ledger a hardware wallet is totally fine. It is software that's on the internet that is compromised that takes a transaction from your Ledger hardware wallet and sends it out into the into the world. Uh, there is now a fix for this. You basically just need to clear your cache. Uh, Munit, uh, Munit Gupta, who I think is from Polygon, put out this tweet uh, that uh, tells you how to do this. Uh, so there is a link in the show notes. And you, Ryan, go ahead and click that. Um, go and click that link. Uh, and then if you ensure that the version is 1.1.8, oh you will be good. Yeah, so you're good. Okay, so you see that original file slash NPM at the very, very top, connect to yeah. kit 1.1.8. You're Gucci. There is a link in the show notes. So you can go click that link. You can follow suit and make sure that is 1.1.8. 1. 1. And that's just if to double check. If it's not, yeah. go clear your cache. Well, that, and that's just to double check. Now I think this the fix is kind of propagated through all of the you know CDN content delivery mm -hmm. networks. And I think it's pretty much safe. But there was sure. this narrow window of time where it was not yeah. safe to actually use your ledger connecting to, to mm -hmm. a wallet. And, and I got to say here, David, like um, I guess my reflection on this is, we still got some work to do, my friend. Like I love crypto, but yeah. knowing you could just wake up one morning, whip out your bankless wallet, and uh, like you get this random message saying, "Hey, if you use your wallet today, you could be drained of all of your funds." That is bad right. user experience, my friend. That is That's not. Bad. We are not quite ready for normies when we have that level of of user experience. So. I mean, just surfacing but also, that. Also, it's have, just like, this is do. software that helps normies manage stuff. Like without this library in the middle, it gets more complicated. And so it's, there's like this big problem, I'd say, where like as much as Ledger is doing fantastic work, like it's we're still dependent on them. And there is no way, There's a, I, mean, I don't know, there's, I'm sure there's some ways, but just like it's a scary allow, um, amount of dependency. And like, if it wasn't Ledger, it'd be someone else, right? I've just like this year, like, this year, David, hardware wallet. The last three to six months have I? I don't know how many phishing stories I've heard from like crypto OGs. From like oh, this, this could have gotten me. This could have gotten you. This could have gotten yeah. many people listening mm -hmm. if they had used their wallet during this this uh, period of time, right? Mm -hmm. And as you say, too many. Uh, we still have work to do here. To continue leveling up your crypto game, then you need to get on the Bankless newsletter. It's the world's most popular crypto email and is completely free. Just click below to sign up.